If you really wanna know what's next, let's go. See the way we on it and we all up in the race, and you know we got it on. I try to keep up with the pace, and we struggle and I hustle and I set it and I get it and we get it. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today we got some MLB The Show 21 insane stub tips to help you get rich over the next 48 hours. But if you're new to the channel, go ahead, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button, and turn your notifications on. And if you want to go above and beyond, you can join down below. That's something new that we added to the channel. But let's give a shout out to the MVPs. And if y'all see an MVP in the comment section, y'all need to like each other's comment because this is you guys' channel also. We're gonna do a shout out to R. Douth. Also, another shout out to Juan Revis. And another shout out to CMVTT. I've been seeing him on a lot of videos lately. So shout out to him. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with your boy. 9K subscribers, two $50 gift cards. Let's get into today's banker. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. All right, so the first thing that we're going to go over is the investments that I told y'all in the prior video, okay? So if y'all took my advice and you invested in the cards when they were super, super low, you are sitting on a lot of stubs right now in your binder. And in the next 48 hours, it's just going to be more and more stubs add up. And I'm going to give y'all an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to start off with this Joe Musgrove. This Joe Musgrove is up to 2209 now he's been playing terribly the last three to five games but like i said you use certain cards for investments and then you hold on to certain cards that you think has the best potential to go diamond so if you were getting these joe musgroves at 1100 1200 1300 stubs now you can sell them right now for 2209 or you can be smart and wait another 24 hours hopefully he gets a good game and that will make him skyrocket to 26 to 2800 stubs you cash out i already cashed out first thing this morning you can see in the top left corner i'm at 298 thousand stubs okay so you can cash them out right now get your profit it would be about 900 to 1,000 stubs on every single investment, or you can hold for another 48 hours and see if his price goes up another 200 to 400 stubs. So another investment was this 83 overall Trent Grisham. Does he have a chance to get upgraded? Yes, but will SDS pick him? We don't know. So I was getting him at 1,080, 1,090, 1,180. He's at 2,105. In the next 48 hours, will he go up to 2,600, 2,800? We don't know. But if I was to cash all 19 of these out right now, I would be sitting at about 41,000 stubs to add to my stub count. Another investment is this Ryan McMahon. I have 34 of these. You can still, right now, buy yourself 15 to 20 of them and make a good profit over the next 48 hours what i am watching for is for his price to go up another 200 stubs if he hits 650 to 750 stubs with 34 of them i can cash him out and get 27 to 28 thousand stubs and add that to my stub count that's what the stub method is all about you want to buy certain cards low that are performing pretty decent in real life and then once they get inflated up to a big profit margin then you either want to sell them off or you want to take that chance and hold them and hope that they get that next upgrade now if he goes to 750 800 stubs I don't want to take the chance of holding him and guarantee that he goes to gold because if he doesn't make that roster update, his price would drop all the way back down to the 150, 180 range like his sale now. So then you would miss an opportunity to grab them stubs, put it in your pocket, get your pretty girlfriend, take her out to a nice dinner, and then have a great, great night. Giovanni Gallegos. 2413 his price is slowly trickling up i have 50 of these you can sell them right now for 3000 i'm gonna be patient i'm gonna wait 
I don't want to sell them no lower than 3,500 to 3,800. So 50 of those, if I was to sell them at 3,000 and take 300 stubs off, that would be about 135 to 140,000 stubs that I will put to my stub count. I'm telling you, over the next 48 hours, just be patient. Look at the prices right now. If you can see that you are making at least 800 stubs on all your profits, you might wanna cash out in the next 48 hours. That's the reason why I'm putting this video out for y'all. Now, another good investment, if you haven't invested already, is this Paul Goldsmith. He has about a 90% chance to get that upgrade. His buy now is already at 944. That's as high as you can possibly get besides 1,000 once he turns gold. 626, you can still make about 350 profit on every single investment. All right, we're gonna look at my Richard Rodriguez's. He gave up a home run yesterday, his second home run that he gave up throughout the season. He's been playing very, very consistent, so I'm gonna hold on to him. I have 36 of them. You can get them for 180, so his price can dip later on tonight if you start seeing him go to 140 150 go out and get yourself 25 to 30 of these because eventually he is a closing pitcher so he only pitches one inning but eventually he will get up to that 80 overall but what i'm looking for is for his 440 to get around 650 to 700 and then i will cash out all 36 of these richard rodriguez and then that would be about 22 to 23,000 stubs that I would have been made off of this silver card that you probably, out of 36 of them, paying about 105 a piece, you was barely spending nine or 10,000 stubs and you're gonna come back with a 13, 14,000 profit. Freddie Peralta, everybody's been hot on Freddie Peralta. I got 30 of these still. His buy now price is very expensive, but I'm waiting for him to get to 4,400, 4,500, and then I'm gonna take about 20 out of the 30 of these, cash out, put that in the bank, and me and my girl going to have us some steak and lobster, you feel me? I'm gonna cash out, I'm not gonna let his price dip all the way back down if he don't get upgraded to the 15, 1600s. But if you wanna play the game with the stubs, you can cash out, let him dip all the way back down, recoup him again, because they have to upgrade him sooner or later. Now, another good investment is this Garcia right here, 79 overall, 634 sale now, right now. If you were investing early, you were getting them at 145 to 160 or 180, but you could still make a good profit. I think he has about an 80 to 90% chance of going up. His stats over the past six or seven game has been outrageous. He's been getting a lot of two hit games. He's been like the past seven or eight games got a hit in every single game. So his consistency is worth a 80 overall boost hands down now this Baez is another good card as far as profit goes i don't know if he's gonna get the plus two uh, hopefully he gets a plus one that will put him more on the radar and then his price will skyrocket but right now i'm just looking for him to get 2200 stubs to 2400 stubs i can cash out with 44 of them and walk away with 63 to 65 thousand stubs so all total with my investments, if you've been paying attention to the video, and I got more cards that I can go over in another video with every single good investment. Also, if you hit that join button, you will get access to all the cards that you need to go get ahead of time before all the videos come out and then the prices get inflated. So that's something that you can do, you don't have to do. I appreciate all the love and support, but all total, if I was to cash out in the next 24 hours with all the investments that I have, letting the prices inflate a little bit, I would be walking away with over 410,000 stubs. So that would put me at over 700,000 stubs, and that's not including if some people go diamond, that's not including if some of the silvers that I got in my inventory go gold. So you can make over 400,000 stubs if your inventory is anything like mine. I give you all the people to go after. You got investments for diamonds, and then you got investments for profit. This is a profit tip video. 400,000 in my inventory I can sell off in the next 24 hours. That will get you Mike Trout. Any car in the game is probably in your inventory if you are just patient, if you are subscribed to this channel with your notifications on, and you're not a hater your whole life, dropping the like on the video. Let's get it.